guy. <laughs> hey, man, what's up? Hey, man, this is special in the first uh, weekend share of beer, okay? Uh, I say it like that because this might actually turn into a thing. Um, I, it is very convenient for me on a Sunday to do this. Um, I do have something else that might be starting up in my own personal life that might affect this as well. We'll see how that goes, but that's not till later in the day. If I did do this, it would have to be around this time of day. Um, so like I say, we'll see, we'll see what happens with that. I don't know. I don't know that this will be a permanent thing, but we'll see. Um, <clears throat> it might be a kind of a week by week thing, but in any case, it would be nice, it, 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 or it might even. We'll talk about all that. We'll we'll just see if maybe it'd be worth switching the show to Sundays. Maybe that because I then I could have several beers. You know what I'm saying, which would be nice. Um, but uh, right now we're just going to have a plain old Amberbach. Um. So I don't know. Uh, it's, it's a it's it's a flippin' absolute gorgeous day outside. See, look at that. It is just gorgeous out there. So, um, of course, I got the window open, curtains open, but the uh, screw tap, uh, screw top. Let's see if we get smoke. We usually get smoke out of screw tops. <laughs> look at that. It is blowing and everything. How cool is it? That? that was like a commercial, dog. That was like a commercial, man. Come on. Yeah. This is just so freaking cool, man. You open a, open the cap, you know, or you just pop the cap and the smoke's just billowing out of the thing. No, that's one thing the Budweiser does pretty good, bro. You can count on uh, Anheuser-Busch product to give you some damn good smoke. And we damn sure got some good smoke out of this bad boy. <laughs> so... Um, yeah, I did have my, uh, 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 I did have a workout. It was a, uh, what I would call a mediocre workout because it was, um, a lot of mental BS goes on in your head sometimes, man. You know what I'm saying? Where you where you one part of your brain wants to just quit and, 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 and go sit on the couch. And then another part of your brain saying, no, man, you got to do this. You know what I'm saying? Um, so I, I did my eight miles and I earned this bad boy today. <laughs> Several. So it's okay. You know what I'm saying? It's it's actually a pretty decent uh, brew. Um, Michelob, uh, as far as Anheuser-Busch is concerned, I would kind of consider in their crafty kind of division of of uh, of Budweiser um, you know I think when they were first starting to try to uh, get crafty ish um, they were doing it with with um, Michelob and uh, so the Amber Bach is still a decent dark lager not as good as Sam Adams, but a decent dark lager. I mean, it's, you know, for the, its availability and you can find it everywhere and stuff. Sorry. Hey. You know, sorry. All right. I'm looking a little rough. Uh, I didn't shave. Sorry about that, man. You know what I'm saying? But um, you get over it, right? I mean, have a few more beers. You know what I'm saying? Like, eh, it'll be all right. It'll be okay. <laughs> Hey, look here, man. Um, I got a couple of stories here since uh, no one showed up. I can, um, it, you know what? And and one reason I think people, uh, oh, okay, oh, for one, they need the link. Yeah, yeah. I set it up wrong. I said I set it up as a regular hangout. So then, hold on a second while I type this in. Um, set it up as a regular hangout and um, 
and then I didn't realize it till three minutes before the show was about to start. So that's one reason probably some people haven't uh, jumped in because there there was some interest for sure. Um, yeah, so there goes the link. So yeah, hopefully some people will uh, be able to get in here. There's a few cats in here, some of the regulars, familiar faces you'll recognize. So, for, you know, it, it seems to be picking up a lot of momentum, uh, a lot of popularity. Um, the uh, uh, my physical fitness journey. So I'll go ahead. I'll go ahead and show you uh, some of my stuff here. So this is um, my steps, and then the next little section here will be my distance, and then the next section is my sleep. I haven't put in my sleep for today, but. I've done uh, 15,000 steps today, 15,404 steps today, and then 8.44 miles. And I probably only slept about five hours, five and a half, which is actually good for me because I'm usually <laughs> struggling to do four. <laughs> so anything close to six is just like, that's actually my sleep goal is six hours because uh, I just can't. Uh, I don't know about you, Mark, but I, I just can't. Uh, I, I just I, I can't lay in bed that long. I, I'm not like one of those guys that can lay in. Some people can lay in bed all day. No, you know? I, I can't do that. But I uh, I try to get at least seven hours a night if I can. I mean, I'm a, mm -hmm. always been a, a good sleeper, um, but. I don't know how you survive on six, but I mean, you, you've been doing it for years. Yeah. So, I mean, that's uh, that's part of it. But yeah, sleep is important. But 15,000 steps, that's pretty awesome. Yeah, I did. Uh, now, now, Mark is, he does, he's ran for years. Uh, 7,700 most... steps today, though. <laughs> Not too many. <laughs> not, th not too many, but that's still pretty good. I mean, oh, you yeah. still have quite a few hours left in the day. Yeah. I think yeah. Between, between this and the uh, photo show, I'll probably go out and knock out the other couple thousand and get my 10. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You know, and, uh, now Mark's a runner, and, and then from these two different aspects, you know, I, I walk, Mark runs. Now, I would think that per mile, you actually get more steps walking because your stride is longer when you're running is yeah i um i walk more than i run now but i you know i can i i do what i call walk I, I walk a little bit run a little bit that type of thing but typically oh, okay. uh i do about six fifteen hundred steps a mile 14 to 1500 steps a mile running and walking is around 18 or 19. okay you know so uh you know so yeah it takes me about six minutes of running to do a thousand steps, where it takes me about eight or nine minutes of walking to do a thousand steps. Yeah, so you know, <clears throat> I'm right at your typical average of about two thousand steps per mile. Yeah, I'm pretty, I'm pretty close to that. My my stride is just about three feet. So however that divides out, my normal walking stride. So five thousand two eighty divided by three, seventeen hundred and sixty. So I'm around 1,800 steps a mile. If I'm walking my normal, if I'm walking with Pam, I'm closer to 2,000 steps. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. If I walk my normal pace, we, we wouldn't walk together for one. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's. I I do see some of that. Uh, there, there's a lot of people. A lot on the weekend, you get the the most cyclists, and uh, uh, you know, there's a whole different levels of 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 people in their expertise with cycling but uh you'll see some uh husband and wife teams out there and, and it's obvious because the wife is, will be struggling or sometimes it's the husband struggling and the wife's just like gone you know so mm -hmm. um how you doing today brandon i'm doing great jody how you doing well i'm trying to make up for the miss share i had an insanely busy week this week and so uh, I had several 14-hour days, and when I do that, man, I'm not going to be able to make that time. Yeah. There's just I was ready for my usual time before the time change, but 
Yeah, I just completely slept through that. I, I was just, its that is going to be the problem yeah. that I'm going to have. So if this works, I actually might just move the show to this. Oh, okay. On Sundays? No. Yeah. Yeah. It, it might just, you know, it, if it if it can work. And the reason why is because then at least I could have a few beers too. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. and, and it's not so, it could be more at least on my end, more casual because uh, I, I don't feel rushed. Like, oh, okay, I have to, I'm just waking up. I have to, I'm kind of more like everybody else is on their, on their Sunday, you mm -hmm. know. Yep. Um, it's just got an extra S to it. Sunday share beer, S-S-A-B. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So we'll see. We'll see how it goes. You know what I'm saying? I still would like to keep the regular Tuesday you know, for now. But if it if it does and can work, then I don't know. We'll see. You know. Yeah, it wouldn't be the first time we you switched the day. We were what wasn't it Mondays for a while? It was. It, it was originally Mondays. Yeah. Yeah. It was originally Mondays, and at a slightly different time. Or, yeah. Was it like was it nine o'clock or something? I can't remember. I think maybe it was eight o'clock Eastern. It was it was yeah. an hour. Or so. It was at least an hour different than what, yeah, it, it, what it's been. For. There was some difference because I remember we had more California people in. Mm -hmm. So it, maybe it was later. I think it was yeah because it was when people in California were actually getting getting home after work. That's right. Yeah, because we yeah, one of our regulars. There was two guys from California. Mm -hmm. uh, we had uh, Norm. Mm -hmm. uh, he was a regular on the show. Mm -hmm. Uh, and and then yeah, it was a lot like what Barrick was saying when the time changed. Like he just was not going to be able to make it. Yeah. And that was the same thing with Norm because Norm would work. Yeah. And uh, it was the you know, uh, what, what it, was he tech support at his job or something? I think he was. Yeah. Sometimes he would jump in from his job and he he wouldn't be able to say anything. Yeah. He would just kind of wave and look out the door. <laughs> 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 See if he was gonna get busted or not, you know. Yeah. But uh, um, I, th I think he would have to have us turn down too and stuff mm -hmm. like that, like just uh, so he wouldn't get popped. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, th those are the good days, you know what I'm saying? And, and they still are. We still have many, many good days. But uh, some of the changes this show has gone through. Um, yeah. Well, it's it's kind of hard not to go through some changes. I mean, after yeah. six years or whatever, six or seven years. Yeah. So what are you drinking, Joe? Now that you're actually drinking a beer. I am. I started off. I'm kind of just like with fitness uh, and working out. You kind of start out, you know, <clears throat> ease into something, you know, yeah. uh, just something to kind of stretch out, and, uh, you know. <laughs> so I'm kind of having an, an amber bock, you know. What I'm oh, okay, saying? all right. Kind of, you know, wake the senses up there a little bit, mm -hmm. you know, and then I'll, I'll 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 ease into a Fifth Street Pale Ale, uh, Ooh, okay. a, a local brew, uh, right. and then I have I have other stuff in the fridge there that I can break out here Ooh, uh, yeah. as we as we progress. Um, but uh, yeah, and that, it, that's another thing. I might I, I've been invited into a bowling league. What do you guys think about that? Oh, bowling's awesome. I've been I've been in a bowling league for seven years. Now I'm not going to get too much, and I want to cover Brandon. What you're having, brother? Oh well, I'm having. Uh, I saw you were having the Amber Box. So I decided to get a beer also from AB. Same style as Amber Box, Ziegenbach. Oh yeah! Wow, I never heard yeah. of that before. Is it well, the Texas yeah. version? Yeah, well, it's uh, yeah, it is the Texas version, but it was uh, it's not the same beer as Amber Box. The beer was. Uh, brewed uh, to compete with Shinerbach in Texas, starting in 1995. Oh, okay. So it's pretty much only available in Texas, but it does cross over the Louisiana market as well. Okay. Huh. That's interesting. Yeah, I've heard of that beer. I, I've never uh, heard of it before. Mm -hmm. um, oh, and then a nice little treat, man, is, uh, you know, of course, Sunday I earn, I earn a lot of calories today, so I, I can definitely afford to have a few beers uh, as far as fitness-wise and still stay within my nutrition guidelines. So when the maid was cleaning my room, I overheard her saying to her sister on the phone <clears throat> that she was making tamales. So I said, 
Tamale tamales. Tamales. <laughs> oh man, I want some tamales. So she put me in an order of tamales, man. So I'm gonna have me some fresh tamales here oh. in about a another hour, brother. Oh, man. <laughs> <laughs> Good times. Can't complain about that, man. Heck no, man. Heck no. Oh. Oh man, yeah. So she says she's gonna bring them around about two o'clock. So, uh, you know, oh, yeah. Good, the, good, good. Yeah. So I'm, 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 I got about another forty minutes, bro. And she's, <laughs> she's on the timer. <laughs> <laughs> so there, there might be a quick intermission here to, when, yeah. when, when the tamales are. Right, we'll have to give a breakdown on the tamales and shit. <laughs> tamales are oh, how many tamales are great? Yep. Oh yeah, yeah, oh. yeah. yeah they're, they're just and, and and when you get them fresh, now you know I'm I'm expecting these bad boys to still be warm. You know what I'm yeah. saying? Uh-huh. So I mean, they're they're something special, man. When when they're, when they're like not when they're not rewarmed up. You know what I'm saying? When they're just mm-hmm. bam, there's it's like magic. Yeah. Boom! Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I know in, uh, in Chicago, Pam used to um, get a couple couple guys at the plant that she worked at that would make tamales on the weekend, and she just ordered up a whole mess. Oh. And, you know, we'd put them in the, you know, we'd eat them a couple fresh, but then we just put the rest in the freezer, and they still came out great. I mean, you'd yeah. order like two yeah. dozen of them and put them in the freezer, and you're set, man. Yeah. Now, I, if, you know, we we are all over the globe, as we know here. Uh, you know, you guys are the regulars that that do this. So there's people out there that might not know about tamales, but if you do know about some tamales, man, oh, now look here. I like to take them. Okay, I'll have if these are fresh. If these have just been made, uh, then I'll have you have to slide a few down your throat right away. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying, and then I'll take a couple more and put them in the pan. I like to fry them up a little bit, get them a little crusty, and you know something, and then uh, put a couple eggs on top of them, man, with some more red chili, yeah. <laughs> and then some more cerveza. <laughs> yeah, that's the yeah, that's the important thing. Now, you want to talk about a food pairing, man. Tamales go with all kinds of beer, my friend. There are already a beer out there that, uh, that that tamales do not go with. No, that's uh, – that is, tamales are fantastic food. <laughs> yeah. Now I'm getting hungry. I'm getting hungry. But I, I'm doing ribs tonight. I'm, yeah. Oh, see – now look, now, now, now look. Who was that cat that would jump in the show from Texas? Do you remember oh, that uh, guy? Oh, not Norm. Um, was it A W A W or whatever? A, yeah, something like that. A W, something like that. Yeah, yeah. He was always he was always cooking something. He's a guy, yeah. guys. I just pulling something off the big green egg. Oh, he was a big green egg guy. That guy was a bastard, wasn't he? Mm-hmm. Oh God, man! And the stuff he would make, he would post pictures and stuff, and you just be like, you're an Asshole, man. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. It was definitely AJ or something. No, it wasn't AJ, huh? It was AW. AW. Yeah, yeah. AW Wheeler. Was it a Wheeler? Wasn't his last yeah, name? Yeah, it was just a total Texas name, man. Yeah, it, it was, was perfect. It was all. It was all Texas all it the time. It was perfect. Yeah, because it was like AW. You know what I'm yeah. saying? Yeah, it was perfect. Uh, yeah. I better get a badge for this. Ah, oh, no badge. Damn. Ah, oh, no badge. Oh, that's right. Yeah, I got to log this bad boy here. It's a new beer for uh, me. But... Oh, yeah. Okay, so uh, for those of you that, that are new to it and all that stuff, here's the untapped app, okay? Now, <laughs> um, yeah, you know, we're all on untapped. Brandon, what's your name on untapped? Ace Venom, A-C-E-V-E-N-O-M, all one word. Cool. And Mark, what's yours? Mark Sinderson. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> I'm the only – well, no, my brother's on it too. But Mark Sinderson, yeah. Mark Sinderson, yeah. And you, and you have to – actually, as you're typing it in there, you have to say it to yourself like that at the same time, Mark Sinderson. And mm-hmm. and then it, 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 it'll it work. And I'm yeah. Joe underscore D. Um, and uh, – Follow us on there, man. It's a lot of fun. 
if you're not familiar with the untapped app they have all these crazy badges for stuff and it's just a lot of fun when you're mm -hmm. at a bar it's kind of cool when you're at a bar too cuz you're at a bar uh, and, 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 you know, people glance at your phone. I mean, you know, what are you going to do? Especially this big thing, you know what I'm saying? You whip it out, and they're like, oh, wow, what the hell? So you whip it out, you know, people glance at your phone. Oh, you do use on tap, too, you know, and you meet people like that, mm -hmm. uh, you know, uh, or, you know, I, I've, this one bar that I go to, people will walk by me a lot as they're going to the head or something, you know, and they're mm -hmm. like, oh, hey, dude, you use on tap? Yeah, right on, cool, and, What's your name? And you know what I'm saying? And oh, hell, you're Jody. And you know what I'm saying? That, that so it, it's just a lot of fun. You know what I'm saying? It is. So, um, it's a good way to keep track of what you what you've done too. Um, yeah, uh, and that's either good or bad. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> now, I remember I went to a bottle share. Uh, when I go to bottle share, I was the one who always checked in everything. So my friend said, "Just Brandy, just keep checking these in. Uh, we'll f just." Catch it in the morning. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it's uh I I am still very proud of that uh Yingling uh that I was able to log on there. Um mm -hmm. it's, especially since I you know, no one else on this side of the Mississippi can get it. Um so that was a pretty good find for Hell me. Yeah. Um at least over here. Uh let's see. Yeah, I'll give I'll give this Amberbach three. I mean, it, 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 it you know it's 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 a dark lager. It's not as good as Samuel Adams by a long shot, but you know it, it's a decent brew, right? It's not. If someone offers you one, you're not going to be like totally offended. You might be a little bit like, like you know, but um, it's, it's a decent it's, beer. I mean, it's drinkable. It's a, it's it's drinkable, right? I mean. Like I was saying before, uh, everybody jumped in. Brandon might have saw it. Uh, you know, <clears throat> I believe, you know, Michelob, um, Budweiser, when they were starting to go a little crafty-ish, was using Michelob as that brand to kind of break them into that. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, they had several beers, right, back then. Hell, they had a whole 12-packer something that you could buy, if I recall, and it had, uh, what, the f three of four beers in there, didn't it? Yeah, it did. Um, it had the, was it Amberbach and a couple, it had regular yeah. Michelob, and there was something else in there. They had a few others for a while. They had the Honey Lager. They had the, uh, yeah. they don't have that yeah. one anymore. They had an October, I think they had an Oktoberfest as well for yeah. at some point. I think they did. Yeah, so they, and they were all fairly decent, but you know the craft beer scene wasn't quite what it is now. Mm -hmm. But um, that was their initial foray into well, before they started buying everything. Um, that was yeah. their initial. Okay, let's give this a shot, and then when that didn't work, ah, let's just buy everybody. Yeah. <laughs> We can fix this. Okay. It's, it's just so much easier, man. Throw money at it. Mm -hmm. Just throw money at it. You know, just you know, <laughs> you know. Let's do a whole bunch of Godfather moves. I'm gonna make you a deal you can't refuse. Yeah. You know, and uh, mm -hmm. you know. Uh, now, of course, this portion of the show would be brought to you by Steak Bite. Yeah. <laughs> I love this darn little opener now. It's turned into like a little thing, you know, because uh, it's got some character, man. If yeah. anything, like mm -hmm. it's not just you know, I could I could whip open this, uh, whip out this uh, this this opener here, and yeah. yeah. It wouldn't get too much attention, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, I'm yeah. watching that game too now, bro. I swear to God. Which game? The uh, uh, Blackhawks oh, and... Uh, okay. okay, okay. Yeah. yeah, I've got it on right next to me here. It's, that's one of the cool things about this camera. I can move it. See? Ah, Whoops. Islanders. Yeah. That's how close the... See, look. Computer, TV. <laughs> there you go. You're set. <laughs> you need. 
Yeah, everything's pretty. And then there's there's the day today out the window. It oh, is just yeah. terrible. It is just gorgeous, man. I, I I don't know what is it, 80 degrees and <sighs> dude, uh, it's big. let me see what the actual temperature is. Oh, it's gonna be 90. <laughs> Yeah, it's gonna be ninety. Low is sixty one. Okay. Yeah, it, it's eighty six right now. But uh, yeah, any case, let me let me get my snake bite out here and uh, crack open this Four Peaks, man. Um, pretty darn good brewery, man. It's it's a bigger uh, local brewery down here. If you come down here to Arizona, you'll definitely see Four Peaks mm-hmm. everywhere. Let's see if we get some smoke. Now, that's one good thing. To, and I, the Budweiser is good at the smoke, man. Mm-hmm. You, you crack open that screw top, and it's like a commercial. I mean, the smoke billows out of there. My AC was blowing, so it was just blowing smoke. It looked like a commercial, man. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> this beer so. designed for smoke. Mm-hmm. Oh, see? <sighs> you know... You can't drink Come smoke, on. though, right? <laughs> That's That's <laughs> yes, you can't drink. I've had, you don't know how many people over the years, man, that I've had, and, and they say, you know what, man? Like, every time I crack a beer, I think about you. <laughs> you know? oh, okay. I've had people that, while they're at the bar, say that they watch the bartender and they're like, oh, smoke! <laughs> <laughs> now, now if, he, if he's pour, if he's pulling the tap handle and you get smoke coming, out, you probably don't want to drink that beer. No, that's the smoke you don't want. Yeah, yeah you don't want tap smoke. No, that's tap the, uh, smoke. That's the Cheech, is, that's the Cheech and Chong bar there. <laughs> yeah, you don't want you don't want you don't want smoke flowing out of your tap. Yeah, that's not. Uh, yeah, it, pretty much. I don't even know that you get good smoke out of a can, really. I think just out of bottles. I think it is just the bottles, yeah, because it's um because of the narrow neck. I think is what it does it. Yeah, the carbonation comes up, it goes through that. No, yeah, just what's that? Uh, it's like that. What is it? The Venturi effect, you know, kind of the, the draws stuff through, mm-hmm. like the way carburetors work. I mean, you know, it kind of sucks yeah. that stuff up and right. Oh. <clears throat> and and you got a founder. Got to see in physics. So I'm, <laughs> Ah, yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, and and for the part that I don't know, I'm going to have a few more of these bad boys, and this is liquid knowledge right here, my friends. There is... <laughs> the PhD right now. I am going to be the Cliff Clavin of knowledge here, my friend, in a minute. You just watch. <laughs> the Buffalo theory does work. That's my experience. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. The more of these I can get you to drink, the smarter I get, my friend. You watch. Yeah. Yeah. You just watch. That that does happen. That's a reality. That's a real thing. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. I did have to apologize for my state of shaving right now. I didn't. Uh, hmm. I didn't bother to get to the uh, razor uh, earlier, so. Me That's, neither all weekend. Although I could bike a week and it wouldn't matter. There's nothing there really. <laughs> now, one cool thing we can we can do here is promote Mark's show in a little bit. Mark has a show that will be after this show. If Maybe it depends how much of this beer I drink. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that might there might be another postponement in the near future. Yeah. Now. Now that show could really be a great show after this one. <laughs> you know, I usually I usually have a beer right before that show, so if I uh, if I keep things, you know, if I go out for a walk after this, I'll be good. Yeah, yeah. But if I just sit down and have another beer before, then it, yeah, it could be interesting. Yeah, if you just now, sit. Down. I, I saw Jesus in that photo, man, right there. Yeah, oh man, oh wow, that's cool, man. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, it's oh yeah. See, I was gonna go a place. Yeah, we don't want to go there. That would no. just yeah, no, yeah, that would. <laughs> the things that go through my head, it's not right. You know what I'm saying? But people yeah, do see. Cool. Yeah, people see Jesus in weird things. I was thinking, you know, yeah, man, I took a leak, and it, you know, but you know, well, I'm not going there. I'm looking at the foam in my beard. <laughs> <laughs> 
I'm not going there, no. right? Oh, now, Brandon, I don't think you were here for that show, but we need to cover this. Now, when you take a leak, do you have to lean on something? Uh, it depends. If I've had a <laughs> leak, I may be myself against the wall with one hand and just said, okay, if I can fix that with the other, I'm fine for more drinks. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah, see, those are the things that <laughs> you, you got to know, right? Like, that's, yeah. you know, that's, now, see, that's the old guy test. If you don't necessarily have to lean, but leaning is optional, mm -hmm. then you might not be an old guy. Yeah. That's that's kind of the thing there. That's part of the new uh, Redneck Comedy Tour right there yep. is, you know, you, you might be an old guy if you got to lean on something. Yeah. You know, but if leaning is still optional, yeah, then and you're not an old guy yet. Yeah, you might not be an old yeah, guy. Yeah, probably not. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> now, with me personally, I used to have to lean, but now that I've got a little more fit, I, I kind of have the option. So I think I'm kind of a, a little bit on the fence right now, personally. Uh -huh. I, th I think as long as I keep heading towards fitness, then uh, mm -hmm. then I, I'm, I'm delaying the old guy effect there. You know what I'm saying? Now, the important question, and this, this can kind of affect your man card. Now, <clears throat> shower gel or soap bar? Ah. Soap bar. Ah. Soap bar. <laughs> I agree. <laughs> I agree because it floats if I drop it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. yeah, those are see those are the important things that you Plus it's know cheap, which leaves me more money for being in photography. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. Yeah. I say that because I had my, my I had someone give me a bunch <laughs> of toiletries actually. They just gave me a bag of toiletries that they didn't need. And so there was a jug of uh, Axe shower gel in there. I never really used shower gel. You know what I'm saying? Mm. So, okay. <clears throat> Let's give this a shot. You know what I'm saying? Got to check it out. Get the towel. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Ah, foo-foo, man. You know what I'm saying? What the uh, hell's up with this, yeah. man? Give me my soap bar. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Yeah. 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 It seems like an incredible. Every time I use shower gel, just you, you go through half a bottle. It's like, come on, it just yeah. Work. For me, there's just this whole like, God, man. You know, it just like I say, man. You're like, I mean, you might as well have your pinky out the whole time. You know what I'm saying? And then you're like, ah, oh, ah, oh, ah. Oh. <laughs> You know, I don't know, man. It's like 50 points off your man card. I swear to God. You know what I'm saying? And then, then you got to do something manly after that. You know, like scratch yourself a bunch or something. You know what I'm saying? Like kind of make up for it. But uh, no, it, I got to admit, it was kind of, it was it was all right. You know what I'm saying? It, it, that one, I, I don't remember what scent that was. But yeah, you smell okay afterwards. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But uh, I, I still prefer the soap yeah, bar. Definitely. Bar soap, yeah. Only way to go. <laughs> you can actually hold it in your hand. It's something. Solid. It's real. <laughs> Especially when you're in the shower. <laughs> I won't even say it now. Yeah, yeah. I was gonna say it's kind of slippery, but <laughs> well, I won't. Yeah, oh. and then you rub it a lot in your chest yeah. and your face. <laughs> then it gets in your eyes and it burns. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, we. Oh, <laughs> oh. yeah. This is this one. Oh, <laughs> oh. <laughs> Cheers. Yeah, How about that Blackhawks game? What's the score? What's the score in that yeah, hockey yeah, game? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Blackhawks. Yeah, goddamn it. Yeah, <laughs> hockey. 
Yeah, oh, he just slammed that guy right there. Yeah, that's cool. Any fights? Any fights yet? (laughs) 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 We go off the road so fast here. (laughs) Great. But anyway, Um, yeah, you definitely double your man card uh, if you use a lava soap for more than just washing your hands. Oh, (laughs) Oh, that pumice? Oh, yeah. Yeah. That pumice. Yes, uh-huh. yes, there is definite. Yes, you get bonus points on the man card. Yeah, for that. yeah, that uh-huh. is definitely. Yeah, if you can hang with uh, lava across the old uh, Smokies, there. Yeah. Um, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Cheers to you, my friend. Mm. Yes, cheers to you. Uh-huh. <clears throat> that is hilarious. Oh my God, that was a good one. Um, you know, if we, just, if we just took all these all these side tracks that we take, and then just put them together and give them to some like well known comic, he could probably have like a, a a road show or something. I mean, you know, give it to uh, like who would be a good comic to do all this stuff? Who would if we gave him all like all all these things, he could turn oh, it into a whole routine. Okay. Now, Mark, this is something you're going to relate to, and Bum just brought it to our attention in the Q&A. He said it's too early for beer for him, but but some kick-ass jelly beans from Sarah's Candies in Cannonsburg. Oh, Cannonsburg. Oh, sweet. Yep. Now, I do know Pennsylvania knows a little bit about candy. Yes. Now. Yep. Now, candy isn't necessarily the best beer pairing ever, but depending on what beer you're having, a saison, uh, maybe a, a double or something fruity, uh, you know, one of them jelly beers. Beans. Oh, I could have some jelly beans with this because this this is a um, this is a, a bourbon aged double. Yeah. yeah. Got lots of dark fruit, sweetness, vanilla. Yeah. 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 This this would go great with some jelly beans. It's some je- yeah, or or if you're having a good uh, stout, you mm-hmm. could have chocolate covered almonds oh, or yeah. something. Oh. I mean, uh, or just chocolate in general, you know. Trader uh, Joe's has a. Have you had those? They have chocolate covered almonds. You can get a Trader Joe's. Oh, they're so good. Actually, I just had some dark chocolate almonds. The the Dove coming up oh, big. Okay. Uh, uh, well, a decent sized little bag they had, um, mm. and th- those were really good. Um, but uh, yeah, there's there are Twix, dude. Who don't like Twix? Come on, who's the guy that don't like Twix? Come on, I'd like to see that son of a bitch. Oh, you know, Twix, Twix would go great. With that. <laughs> yeah. Twix go with everything. Okay, Brandon, what's your favorite candy? My favorite candy, I'd have to say, I'm definitely a Snickers bar sort of, sort of guy. Ah, uh, let, let's go top three candy. What's your what would be the top three candy? I would have to go with the Snickers bar is my number one. Uh, pro- then after that, I'd probably have to go to uh, Sweet Tarts. Uh, Ooh. And maybe, and of course, any variety of bubble gum would work. But that's <laughs> 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 Now, is there a preference with bubble gum? Now, would you go double bubble? Bubblicious. Uh, what's the preference on the bubble gum? Bubble yum. Well, I gotta say, I, I remember I used to get the bazooka gum when I was a kid. Oh, bazooka, I yeah. I haven't gotten in a long time, unfortunately. It's been a while. Bazooka now, bazooka. Time. I wonder how bazooka compares to double bubble, right? Because they're about the same little nickel a piece. Mm-hmm. Uh, oh, I don't know. I don't chew gum that much, but. Um... I always like Bazooka Joe because of the, um, you know, because the, the gum was all, like, dried out and stale, but you had good <laughs> comics. Yeah. <laughs> well, <clears throat> it's kind of like the old baseball card gum, right? Yeah. It's kind of, mm. you, you know, you oh, had the comic. Man. So you'd reach for the comic part, right? And then you'd rip off the label from the comic part, right? Yeah. And then you slap that brick in your mouth, right? right? Uh-huh. And then you're like, trying to read your comment. Yeah. <laughs> right? And you do the same thing with your with your baseball card gum, right? You, you like, slide that thin piece of cracker gum in your mouth. Yeah. You're like, 
Oh yeah. What cards? Horrible. Got it. Oh, it got just it. Like dry and got it. Got there. it. Oh yeah, this one kicks ass. You know what I'm saying? And, yep. Yeah. And that would be your experience with the uh, baseball cards. What's your oh. top three uh, candies there, Mark? Oh, I think my favorite candy from uh, a couple of them were from my uh, childhood, and one of them I don't think is made anymore is Clark Bar. They used to be made in Pittsburgh. Ooh. No, they do still really? have Clark oh, Bars. Yeah. Um, I th- Clark, I liked. Um, I have think you ever they had do. Zero Bars. Yes, they frozen, still have those. They used to have Zero Bars, frozen Zero Bars at the pool in the summer. Yes. Those were awesome. Yeah. And then, then I've got to go for um, probably after that. Yeah. Uh, it's either Three Musketeers or Snickers. Are pretty close. Wow. <clears throat> Those yeah. are very different, though. Three Musketeers yeah. or Snickers. Oh, they are. They Snickers. are. Yeah. Oh, yeah, they're completely different. I would say out of the two, since I like Clark bars, probably Three Musketeers. If I want something light and fluffy <coughs> in the area. <laughs> <laughs> to go with my shower gel. Yeah. <laughs> that would be post-shower. That would be post-shower yeah, candy. Right I just there, got right? done with the shower gel. I think I'll yeah. have the Three Musketeers. Now. With the nougat. Yeah, the nougat. Yeah, the three musketeers are pretty good. Uh, I, I, I kind of. Yeah, now I think my top three, jelly beans are definitely in there. I love some jelly beans, man. Um, but I, I do, I do like Twix. I think Twix is my favorite. No, almond Snickers, bro, Ooh. for real. Okay. For real, almond Snickers are the real deal. Like. <laughs> I think almond Snickers and then maybe Twix, but man, it's like, it's so close, bro. It's like a photo finish. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Because now I'm gonna tell you, I'm gonna tell you how to eat these bad boys too. So it's like almond Snickers and then Twix and then probably jelly beans. Okay, yeah, jelly beans. Admit. Yeah. But I got more like a, a Mount Rushmore because I do like cinnamon bears, man. I like cinnamon bears. Okay. You know what I'm saying? I like cinnamon bears, man. I see cinnamon bears and I'm like, Ooh! you know what I'm saying? I just got to buy them, man. You know what I'm saying? Now, my favorite cookies, bro, no doubt, is Oreos and English Tea Brothers. I love English Tea Cookies, man. I mean, it ain't even... Oreos. Now I seen the other day at the Walmart. Damn Walmart! I swear they had. I'm I'm being good, Mark. You know what I'm saying? I'm yeah. being good. I'm buying all the rabbit food, bro. Okay, rabbits like this, rabbits like that. I'm buying it, man. Yeah. I'm buying it. You know what I'm saying? And then they had over there in the middle all the damn rabbit food. Uh oh. One of those little stands with the Oreo cookies, and you know what kind of Oreo cookies they were? A peanut butter. Them sons of bitches! I swear to God, they made Reese's peanut butter oh. cup Oreos. Yeah. <laughs> and they put that—that that was literally a little stand in the middle, of like the salad and the veggies. Yes. Oh, bastards! Man, those people in Arkansas are evil. That is evil. Evil bastards! Who puts Oreos in the middle of salad? Who puts Oreos in the peanut butter cup Oreos? That's not even fair. That's like they know what kind of shoppers they got. They know all their shoppers are fat. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> like, come on. You're not you're not fooling us by <laughs> you want some yeah. pe- Reese's peanut butter Oreos. You know you want them. Yeah, you so we're gonna know. put this stand right in the <laughs> middle of the carrots and the oh, lettuce. He's just We'll bring them to you. <laughs> Buy a head of lettuce, get a free Oreo. <laughs> you know you want it. Yeah, we know you tried to get down to no, your. No, no, that would be really. They would be really <laughs> cool if they put the Oreos next to the uh, to the diabetes medication in the uh, in the pharmacy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that would be cruel. No. Pick up some insulin. Oh, and I'll have some Oreos too. For you. Yeah. <laughs> I'm taking it instantly. Oh. I'm allowed to cheat. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I forgot to include uh, Reese's peanut butter cups. It would have to be more like a Mount Rushmore. There's got to be four because I do love some Reese's peanut butter cups mm. when they are chilled. Mm-hmm. And uh, um, I, this is a good game over here, bro. Yeah. For real. 
It is. No doubt. When they're chilled, now, I don't know how you eat a Reese's peanut butter cup, but when they chill, all right, mm-hmm. you got that chocolate around the edge. You can just like, bite it all off, and then you get the. <laughs> and then you can just eat <laughs> now everyone's got their little like you're alone with the candy thing mm. that you do. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> yeah. Now when you alone with the candy, right, and no one's looking, how you eat the candy? Probably play a little Barry White, and uh, you just get the candy out the house and slow. <laughs> Uh, I don't do that, but I just thought you <laughs> sure, <yeah. laughs> Kind of pet it. <laughs> Dude, that's great. <laughs> oh, yeah, you gotta, you gotta play. Yeah, exactly. That's hilarious. I'm telling you, with the dark chocolate candy, though. Yeah, I, 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 can't, I can't even help myself. Like, I get a Snickers, I gotta eat the chocolate all the way around the damn Snickers first, and then I'll start biting the Snickers. Oh, really? Wow. Yeah, swear to God, I'm weird about it. Yeah, that's mm-hmm. one of them weird. Same thing with the Twix. Like, the Twix, I gotta eat the top of the Twix first, and then I like to leave the the the, the 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 candy, no, the uh, 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 cookie part, mm-hmm. and then I eat the cookie part. Yeah, that's part. how I eat the Twix, too. I kind of, all the, the chocolate and the caramel or whatever, and then I have dessert. Yeah, yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah, and I've had people watch me, man, like, that fool's eating that. Look at the way he's eating that. Damn. It's as weird as when, uh, you know, the Yankees in Seinfeld were eating the darn Snickers with the with the fork mm-hmm. and a knife. You know, it's it's that weird. You know, people look like, what the hell is he? Uh, that grown-ass man is eating the chocolate all the way. <laughs> yeah. That's kind of the way. Uh, uh, that's kind of the way I do right there too. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Twix are good to eat that way. I used to do that now, with, the, with the Clark bars too, because they were they had a cookie in there too. So. Yeah, now see Clark bars, I really don't. Re- now I think I've seen them come across the dock still. Clark, mm-hmm. and that other bar you mentioned, the um, zero zero bars. Zero. Yes, I think I, I I think if you Google them, they would still be available okay. for purchase somewhere. Okay. I believe I've seen those two somewhere. Now, what what was the Clark bar again? Re- refresh my memory. Was it raisins or something? No, no, it was a uh, cookie, chocolate. Uh, did it have coconut in it? No, that was the the zero. The zero had coconut. Yeah, in okay, it. okay, zero. Yeah. I remember. I remember that. But the thing right. about Clark bar that was a local Pittsburgh candy bar that was made originally in Pittsburgh. That was a Pittsburgh. That was like Pittsburgh's answer to Hershey's, I guess. I don't know. But, um, it was like a crunchy cookie. It was like the original Twix, probably. <clears throat> oh, because it, it has like a cookie. It has a cookie in it. Yeah, I mean, I haven't had one in 20 years, probably. Because they went away, and I try not to eat too much candy. But uh, Right, but yeah. yeah. I don't... Kind of once I moved away from Pittsburgh, they, they were, that was right at the stage where they were kind of going out of business, in and out of bankruptcy, and I, I think, I, I think right, somebody bought it, uh, bought the name, and is maybe redoing it, but I haven't had one in a long time. But that's just one of the things I remember from a kid. Now, Clark now Bum said that he just saw the Virgin Mary in his jelly beans. Now, oh. he's going to have people standing outside his door. Yep, wanting to see the Virgin Mary. You know, wanting to see the Virgin Mary in his jelly beans, baby. Oh. Yeah, you start you start seeing stuff like that, man. I mean, then people come out of the woodwork. Now we've got. Yeah, uh, who is this? We got the dust. Somebody gamer. Yeah, what's dust going on, guys? Hey, what's up, man? Y'all doing all right? Yeah, I haven't, man. I haven't gamed in. Whew, a while I used to be I, I would call in sick to work dog to, to just to play uh, on my Xbox bro for real yeah. and 
I haven't gamed in a while. What, what's the latest, man? What, what's what's going on? Oh, um, nothing really. Just chilling and listening to you guys. Guys, <laughs> oh man, that's you've got to be bored. Like it's got to be. <laughs> so, are you having anything to drink, my friend? Huh? Are you having anything to drink? No. No. You're doing this completely sober. Yes. Oh wow! Hats off. <laughs> yeah, really. Wow. Cheers to you, because I'm not even watching this show, this show sober. <laughs> I mean, it's like, <laughs> yeah, that's cool, man. Hey, uh, so you have, do you have a lot of uh, gaming videos posted? Is that no? This is I just got this working, like today. Oh, like today. What what game are we looking at here? Battlefield Three. Oh, Battlefield Three. <laughs> Now, now this is definitely right up my alley. I swear to God, yeah, it, that that is my type of. I love this type of game. I swear. This it, it, now remind me of the genre again. This is the uh, first person first person shooter. shooters. Yeah, <clears throat> yeah. This was right up my alley. I swear. Oh, I'd call in sick, man, for these kind of games. I swear. <laughs> I would. I, I like put my job in jeopardy over these damn games, man. It was ridiculous. <laughs> I was, you know, you know what kind of faded me away from it was the uh, the latest Xbox. The uh, they took so long to come out with it. What 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 are the, what are we on now? The Xbox One? What is it? The the Xbox One and the PS4. Yeah, the Xbox One. Yeah, they took so long to come out with this generation. Of of a gaming device that I, I don't know I got turned off to it, and then life kind of changed a little bit as well. Um, photography took off a little more. Um, some other things happened, and then the next thing you know, man, heck, I I let go of my uh, uh, Xbox subscription. I had had that since Xbox Live started, mm -hmm. and uh, I was I was one of the few that. Um, I God, I think I had that account going steady for seven years or so. Wow! <clears throat> and uh, and when I let it go, same thing with um, I was I was one of the first people also on um, GameFly, uh, and and I let them go too, and they were uh, they didn't seem too broken hearted over it. That's for sure. I was like, you know, I kind of expected. Well, you've been a customer for a long time. Let's see what we can do or something. But they didn't. They didn't bat an eye at it. Like, okay, yeah, later. <laughs> <laughs> so was you that know? a was that a monthly subscription where you could where you could uh, rent yeah. games basically like Netflix for games pretty much? Yeah, exactly. Okay. Yeah, it was basically the Netflix for games. Okay. And um and it still is the best way. Like if you are into into uh. Uh, what do they call it? Console gaming, for sure. Mm -hmm. That is the way to go because um, you know you get to keep the game as long as you want. And I, th what was it? You could have two, three, one, two, three, or four game plans. I yeah. think. I think. I think they had some movies too. Mm -hmm. I think they were implementing that when I was leaving. Okay. Um, but. Uh, yeah, the gaming was it was sure fun, but uh, I, I had so much going on in my own personal life, then and then it was taking forever, and then they came out with the new system, and it was like five hundred bucks. I was like, what? Yeah, it's like yeah, that's time to take that five hundred bucks and buy a new lens, <laughs> pretty much. Five hundred dollars, and then it's like what sixty, seventy bucks a game. Yeah, I, yeah. that's what that's what kept me from getting into it. Was it just? was so expensive. Yeah. And then it's not just $60 a game. Okay, you might be spending another $60 on DLC. More than that on first, like, you also have all this first day content. And mm -hmm. you want to throw microtransactions in there. It's just, you know what? I'll fire up an old Atari 2600 and say, screw you guys. Yeah. yeah I, I do. I'm just you not even a gamer anymore. 50 bucks or whatever and be done. With it. Yeah, yeah. I, I just I'm not even a gamer anymore. I I just it doesn't even appeal to me anymore. It doesn't even. Uh, yeah. Now I, it, <clears throat> if they were to lower the price of of, of Xbox One, I still am kind of loyal to Xbox for some reason. No, is it a is it a monthly subscription to Xbox One? 
or how do you? You, how do you it do can it? be yearly or monthly. Okay. But you got to buy the console first, then you got to subscribe to to get Xbox Gold. Okay. Xbox Live Gold. Now, wow. all that could have changed on me. I don't. I haven't even checked it out in a long, long time. So mm-hmm. all that could have changed. But they used to have. I'll just say what they. Wait, hold on. <clears throat> Is it tamale time? I think it's tamale time. Uh oh. Oh, it's the tamale lady. Oh, tamales. Oh. Tamale time. Oh, Joe. Hey, I want some tamales. Give me some tamales. I'll give some tamales, too. Tamales. You know what's up, boys. Uh, it's the tamale time. Did you hear her? She said there's... The deal went down. A bag of tamales. We just made the deal, man. So how much were they? Like two bucks each? They uh fifteen dollars for a dozen. That's oh, that is. Oh, that's sweet. Yeah. You can't get oh, you dude. can't get that stuff at Taco Bell for that last for that. They're little. so they're so hot you can hardly handle them. Okay, here we go. Oh, now what kind Let's are see. they? They're supposed to be beef with red chili. Whoa. I, I have to admit, coming from New Mexico, I'm used to yeah, you know, like red. What kind of red chili is red chili? Yeah. Red red chili and pork. Ooh. Okay. I'm used to. Now these are supposedly beef with red chili. So here we go. Let me see. I'm gonna. I have to get a plate. Hold on. This is this is a live tamale review. There you go. On the uh, what what do I call this? The super spect- Sunday spectacular share of beer special. Yep. <laughs> no live reviews are harmed in the making of this video. <laughs> Tamales. Oh man. Okay, <clears throat> so we got plate in hand. Uh, let me rearrange things here. I had to turn off my AC because my AC is actually like literally right there, and so it'll cool off your food quicker than junk. So um, <laughs> they're wrapped in paper over okay. over the over corn, corn husk, yeah. um, <clears throat> which is fine. Mm-hmm. That's perfectly fine. They so just wrap them in like parchment paper or something. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. And uh, so there we go with that. Oh. And now we're down to the <clears throat> uh, corn husk here. Ah, oh, yeah. And then you've always got that, that nice, masa. that yep. nice little thin layer of masa here. Yeah. Oh, and that's your little. Se- oh man, that. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Oh, yeah. These are yeah. Oh man, <laughs> these are good. Oh my god. I think you could be doing another deal with the tamale lady here next week, right? Yeah, we'll be we'll be we'll be doing another um, another deal. This is Joe's version of Breaking Bad, man. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I've got some leftover uh, tamale lab. She's gonna make some more tamales. Yeah. Now, see, this is the. Said tamale in the plate is about to fall off. Nope. Oh, oh good save. Good save, yeah, because that would have landed on my map. Now, do you have red sauce for it? Do you have chili sauce for it, or is it already in there? I don't. <clears throat> I still have it on the counter. Oh. It, this is this is the one or two that you slide down the throat before you get to. Okay, it. That's a, those are like the warm up tamales. <laughs> yeah, these it's like going stretching good. before you go out for a walk. You gotta have a couple exactly. of tamales just to kind of get things no. going. Now that, dude, these are good. The 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 chili in them, oh. hot. It's it's really tasty, really good. Oh. Red chili, as opposed to green chili, you get more of a uh, sweeter. Mm-hmm. Roastier taste, um, uh, not quite as earthy tasting as the green. Um, there's a different people. There's people def- definitely prefer red over green or green over red. There's mm-hmm. a definite preference there. I'm more of a red chili guy. So the 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 beef is not too dried out. I was worried about that. It's it's still very moist and okay. um, good. The masa is very moist. Mm. Um, you can tell she put a little chili in her masa, oh, too. Oh, okay. She mixed a little bit in when she made the masa. Ooh. That's good. Just 
just the right amount of fat in there too. So some people use lard, some people mm -hmm. use different little things. Yeah, um, just yeah. very traditional good. Traditional supposed to be yeah. Traditional supposed to be lard, right? I think. Uh -huh. Yeah. Mm -hmm. These are, and they're not too big. I don't like huge ass tamales. These are really nice and and thin. Exactly what I'm used to. I mean, this this is what I would typically get in New Mexico. Mm -hmm. yeah. These are good. Oh mm. man. These are, and let me tell you. Oh, I still got a little beer left here, man. Oh, oh mm. there you go. Life is good. Tamales and beer. Yeah. That is. I'm telling you, man. That is, uh, yeah. <laughs> hands on the table. Yeah, yeah, hands on the table, man. I don't know if I can show mine right now. Yeah. <laughs> don't start grabbing for that lava soap. Um, yeah, my, my hands got stuff in them. <laughs> oh, man, those sound good, those tamales. Mm -hmm. it, yeah, it's just the right amount of spice too. It's not they're not too hot, you know. And anymore, mm -hmm. like the older I get, like I'm not I'm not as much for like it's got to make you cry. It's so hot. I mean, yeah, yeah, just enough to kind of give a nice tingle yeah. and make yeah. the sweat just a little bit. Yeah. Just yeah. perspire. Yeah, you just right. want you just want to perspire just a little glow, bit. glow a little bit. Yeah, yeah. you want to glow. Yeah. <laughs> Now all of a sudden I've got that jingle from coming to America <laughs> stuck in my head. <laughs> I remember that, yeah. I remember that. It's all below. Yeah, this is good. Man. I am telling you, man, these are uh, something tells me now that does she come in and clean? On uh, every Sunday or Saturday? Yeah, Sunday. Okay, so there you go. I think that's a regular deal. I think you're, mm -hmm. I think you're ordering tamales every Sunday for a while now. This, this yeah, because they couldn't be any more perfect. It, Sunday's my weigh-in day, so I've already weighed in. Okay. Yep. Already had my workout. So you have your beer and your tamales, and you got six days to, to correct everything before you weigh in. <laughs> Mark, Mark's got that figured out how all this is it's working. Like right maximum now. time between weigh-ins. <laughs> if you're gonna splurge, you do it on the day, right after you weigh in. You get on that scale, and you're like, yeah. "All right, I'm done for seven days." Yeah, because you know, even if it was a Saturday, it would ruin me. I'm see, telling you right now. Now you could eat those Oreos that you got next to the salad from Walmart, but like on Thursday, all you're eating is the salad. You, you know my actual little trick to that. I'll tell you, that, and and it's why the guys at work love me. I. Uh, I don't. I'm not on a diet per se, as much as I am just changing the way I do things, right? Mm -hmm. Changing my life. So, I still bought the Oreos. I still had about six of them. Trust me. Um, and then I took the rest to work. Oh, and you put them on the table in the break room. Yeah, to make sure I just didn't. You know, I, I had what I had, Gone. and and because if I keep them, I'm gonna eat the whole damn thing. Yeah. yeah. So I just I had I had about three or four when I got home. I'll admit I had about another. Well, that'd be seven, right? I had about another three when I got to work. Yeah. But that was it, you know. Um, and and I limit myself for what I'm going to eat of them, right? Um, that's kind of what I do. I I won't, you know, if I want ice cream, I'll go ahead and have it. Yeah, yeah. You know, but it's a matter of okay, have I earned it yet? Mm -hmm. uh, am I willing to earn it, or 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 I'll manage it by having sometimes just a serving size. Let me just get one scoop. I don't have to have three freaking scoops with chocolate and all kinds of other crap. Yeah. You know, so yeah. that's, that's kind of how I do yeah. it. And that's something that you can sustain because you still can have the things you like to have. Right. Keep it in check and right. take over the and, and some of these things are very they're very sustainable too. Mm -hmm. Like uh, a, a typical scoop of ice cream, somewhere between a 200 calories mm -hmm. and 250, somewhere around there, right? Yeah. yeah. And it's that's very manageable. You know and saying? if you get like real ice cream, what's made with like real milk and real sugar, none of that other crap in it, it's actually, right. I mean, yeah, it ends up being not necessarily good for you, but not uh, not the same as eating the high fructose corn gluten crap stuff Chunk, that they put in. Right. Yeah. <laughs> now and, you know now these tomorrow. I don't know what. Yeah, I'll have to. I'll I'll be entering these in my fitness program, and they'll they'll give me an idea of what these tamales are. Yeah. I think you should ask. You say, "Okay, I'm going to buy some more tamales, but I need a full nutrition profile." <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. 
<laughs> yeah, I'm sure a nutritional profile is exactly right. what you're going to well, get. Well, here, send, send, send like a couple dozen to us, and I'll give one or two to Pam, and she can run it through like her little analysis computer. But, you know, we'll have to taste a few just to make sure. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah, that's the... Uh -huh. But she That's can take it to the, the lab and run it through the through the uh, through the spectrum. Oh, um, what is that? The, the gas chromatograph and the spectrometer and all that stuff, and she can give you a full oh, nutrition profile on it. You may not want to know what the nutrition profile is on it. But. Oh my God! You know, if, I... if she's making them with lard, which she probably is. Yeah, yeah. Which is good. I mean, that's better than <clears throat> hydrogenated soybean oil. Well, yeah. She's making them with lard, real corn, some home cooked beef. Oh, yeah. You know, why not? It's probably better than I, going to Taco Bell for it. Mm -hmm. I'm thinking in my head these are probably about 260 a tamale, maybe. Yeah, it's probably about right. A couple hundred, yeah. Yeah, I'm, and then, I don't know, maybe 14 grams of fat, maybe 16. What do you think, Mark? Yeah, it's probably pretty close. Yeah, I mean, she's making it with lard and beef. Yeah. Yeah, it's probably 50% fat. Mm -hmm. So. Some carbs, a little bit of protein. 50, like 30, 20, you know, 50. Yeah. 30 carbs, 20 protein, something like that. Not bad. <clears throat> yeah, these are, oh, man, I'm telling you, these are a bomb. <laughs> it's just one problem, Joe. You're like 1,800 miles away, so I can't come <laughs> knock on your door and get a few of them. Yeah, I can't knock on the door. That's the only problem. Yeah. But. Now, we do have uh, some people that have reached out and said they're going to be in Phoenix, so... Uh, if you are coming to Phoenix, um, you know, and you are going to meet me on a Sunday, you know, we might get hooked up. <laughs> <laughs> we might gonna, you know, make a deal. You know what I mean? Dave, because no Dave's not here. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> nothing would go better with uh, Yingling than a few of these bad boys. I'll tell you right now. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yingling log. And some tamales. You're good. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Good to go. Mm -hmm. Oh man, I mean, mm. yeah, I I can eat some hot food too. I mean, don't get me wrong, but uh, God, these are making perfect, dude. I mean, these are good. <laughs> these are these are good, man. They really are. I'm picky about tamales. I am. Yeah. And these are. Mm -hmm. Um, I still eat bad ones too, but mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> we won't tell on you. Yeah. Yeah, these are man, these are mm, yeah. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, we're gonna get we're gonna get hands below the table when this show's over. <laughs> <laughs> hey man, hey, thanks for uh thanks for jumping in, you guys. I appreciate yeah, it, man. No problem, man. Uh, no problem. I, I can't remember uh, the other guy that jumped in. He jumped right out to um, what his name was. But uh, I'm going to fry some eggs up and put some chili on these bad boys and watch the last the last period of this uh, game, unless it goes into overtime somehow, but it doesn't seem like it. Yeah. Um, for those of you that don't know, uh, the NHL is in the playoffs right now. First so day of the playoffs, they, isn't it? No, it's not. No, mm -hmm. first week, I first think, week. right? NBA started yesterday, right? NBA yeah. Yep. They, they, I think the NBA and the NHL started both this okay. week. All right. And they'll finish um, up, like, July 4th. Yeah, and, and like, like, the Kings didn't even make it, man. Like, what's up with that? God. You know? I, know. I, I know we're all in the uproar about that. Yeah. Oh, definitely. <laughs> I'm, not, I'm a Blackhawks fan, so I just care if the Blackhawks <laughs> go through another championship. Yeah. yeah. And by the way, uh, the sauce from Micah Perry says cheers. He's watching the Blackhawks game. Well, well he's watching your mission now, obviously. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> Pretty interesting watching it. that Zamboni drive around. Woohoo! Yeah, exactly, yeah. Yeah, the old Zamboni, man. No, Well, that tells you pretty much it, Joe. He's watching the Zamboni over us. So. Yeah. No, well, he's got his priorities straight. That's right, I mean, yeah. That's a man with his priorities straight. Yeah, that, that's a man with his priorities straight. I mean, we had that other guy jump in. He could have been gamey. Yeah. And, and he was completely sober, and he jumped in to watch this. I'm like... But he left after like a minute and a half. Yeah. And he's like, whoa, wait a minute. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I think, I think we set him straight. He got correct. <laughs> and, um, he got scared straight. Scared straight. 
<laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, this don't scare you straight. Now, uh, in about another 40 minutes or so, we do have the best damn photography show on the Internet about to start. That's right. So if you're into photography or, or, or you just even kind of distantly like photography, uh, you, you need to tune in to Mark's show. That is correct. Uh, 6 o'clock p.m. Sunday. Tonight. Yeah. Tonight, tonight, tonight. Yeah, Not monster yeah. trucks, but we all have monster photography. Yeah, monster photography and possibly a truck or two in there. You never know. Yeah, yeah, I never but, know. But um, I could tell you right now, there's some hot car photography. Uh, uh, um, Pat, oh dear God, he's been tearing it up, man. Uh, yeah. I don't know if he put them. Did he post those photos in in your? Um, I haven't. I haven't gone through all the all the stuff that's been posted yet, but hopefully he did. Uh, oh my God! Some of his stuff that he posted in there from uh, San Francisco, uh -huh. dude, sweet. Just on his, just on his feed. Yeah. yeah, really impressive. I mean, just the type of stuff you could just stare at. Yeah. Uh, you know, you just want to hang a picture on your wall. It's just, just incredible photography of some vintage cars. If you like old. Race cars, mm -hmm. old vintage uh, cars that are just stupid expensive. I mean, we're talking four point two million dollar mm -hmm. cars. He posted a couple here. He's, oh, that Lamborghini, sweet. Yep, that Lamborghini Countach. Uh, yeah. He's got uh, the nineteen sixty nine Ferrari in there. Yeah, the sixty nine. Uh, that was nice. Nineteen fifty five Jaguar. Jaguar. D type. Yeah, Jaguar. Yes. Uh, that must have been the one in San Francisco, it looks like. Yeah. Oh, sweet. Yeah, very nice. So yeah, we've got some good we've got some good images to go through. A couple of nice cars. Some uh Yeah. Cool stuff. So yeah, anybody wants to join in, check it out. And uh, yeah. I gotta go I gotta go get those ribs in the oven prior to the show so they can be done when the show's over so I can have myself <laughs> I'm gonna yeah. throw some chicken in a brine because I forgot to do that this morning. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. You're gonna buy some chicken for for what? What are you gonna do with it? Uh, I think I'm just gonna uh, probably gonna bake it. Okay. Yep. And I miss put, put it in a brine for an hour or so. And yeah. see, I miss baking. I, I I didn't realize how much that I would bake or broil until I moved here, and we don't have an oven. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So it's like, damn it, you know. So you come up with some creative ways to use your microwave oven as an oven. But <laughs> yeah, yeah, it only goes so far though. Yeah, it only goes so far. Well, exactly. you know, if you got the tamale lady shows up with fresh tamales, oh. come on. Like, oh. yeah, yeah. What else do you need? Oh. Uh -huh. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna check out here, get my uh, get my ribs cooking. And, yeah, uh, I'll pop back on the uh, on the interwebs at uh, six o'clock for the uh, show. Okay, guys. Thanks for thanks for jumping in. I appreciate it, man. We'll see, see you guys uh, Tuesday. Yep. Sounds good. Yeah. All right, man. Peace out.